Hey guys, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at formatting a Word document using styles. Okay, now what is a style? Well, basically, a style is a pre designed format that you can apply to a paragraph or a line of text or a word or a letter. That's what it is. It's just, it's something that keeps the, the font size, the font face, the style, the, the alignment, the word spacing, character spacing, line spacing, you name it. It keeps everything in a single setting called a style. And then we can apply that style to something. So when we have a look at this document, so as you can see here, I have a document, a two page document, and it's just text. There's no formatting other than this bulleted points uh, over here, but there's no formatting. And we're going to format this document using styles. And then we're going to do two more things. We're going to learn how to modify styles. Okay, so we can make them look the way we want them to look. And then we're also going to create our own styles from scratch. So you can create your own style that you can then use for assignments or um, projects that you do and you can apply your own styles to your work. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we have here. So we've got a COVID-19 uh, article on what COVID-19 is all about. This is relevant because we're going through it right now. And let's have a look at the kind of styles we have available. So I'm still on my home tab. And here is my styles group. Here it is over here. And I'm going to click on this little expand arrow it gives me more options here. And I can see at the moment, here are my visible styles for this document. I've got a style called normal. I've got one called no spacing, heading one, heading two, title, subtitle. Okay, so if we just went with these ones, let's see what it would look like. Okay, so for example, this COVID-19, that's going to be a title. That's a title of the document. And I don't have to select the whole thing. I can actually just be in that paragraph. I can just click anywhere inside the paragraph and I'm fine. And let's click on title. So there's title. And now I've applied title. As you can see, title is uh, Calibri Light, uh, heading font 28, and it's left aligned at the moment. And that's what heading, the, the sorry, the title style does. So let's go down a little bit. And here we have what is COVID-19. So let's make that heading one. That's sort of like the main heading there. And then we have who is most at risk Okay, there, and we'll do the heading two, so sort of like a subheading. So I'm going to do the rest of these as heading twos. And a quick way of doing it is I can just take my mouse to the left hand side of my text. You'll see that it becomes an arrow, and I can click over there, move down a bit, control click, control click. And so I'm just sort of quickly scrolling down, control click all the way through, and I'll leave latest measures. I want to do a different one for that one. So I've gone and selected what I'd like to apply a style to. And I'm going to apply heading two, heading two, done. Let's have a look. Uh, there you go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. All right. So what is COVID-19 is heading one. And who is most at risk is heading two. And then the others. The last one at the bottom, I'm just going to scroll down. So it's a lot of scrolling. Latest measures, latest measures. And let's put that back as heading one. Okay, cool. Now, what we have done, if we take a look, as you can see, what we have done is we have formatted just our headings and uh, it looks okay, but we could probably make it look a little bit better. All right, so let's modify some of our styles. For example, let's start with the title style. So I'm gonna click inside my paragraph. There it is there, COVID-19 title. And to format this is actually very, very easy. I'm just gonna go title and right click and modify. There you go, modify. So let's see what options we have with modification. We can change the name. I don't want you to do that just yet, okay? It tells us what the style is based on, etc. So here's the, the font and the size and all of that. So let's have a look. I'm gonna change the font to one of my favorite fonts called A Love of Thunder. That's a very cool font, I love it. And I'm gonna change the size. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Whoops, wrong way, 24 is good. Here we have the colors. So let's make it like a nice, bluey sort of color like a navy dark blue i don't know what color that is and let us center this as well i'm going to center it and underline cool that's actually pretty good that's actually pretty good and here i have a couple of options here like paragraph spacing so i'm going to just open that up a little bit there we go 18 points that's pretty good i'm happy with that so i'm going to click ok and voila 
title, the title style has now been formatted. So if I apply this title style to uh, any other parts in my document, that's what it's going to look like. And that's pretty darn cool. So let's do heading one. I'm going to do heading one as well. So here we have heading one, right click, modify. So heading one, I want it to stand out a bit more than what it is. So I'm going to underline it and make it bold. Okay, that's what I'll do. Underline it, make it bold, and I'll just leave the color uh, black like that. Okay, click OK. Done. Heading one is done. Great. And if we have a look now where the other spot where we used heading one, if I just scroll down, we go down to the end where I also use heading one, you'll notice there you go. It's also been formatted. So do you see how styles actually make formatting a document very quick and very easy and very efficient because we don't have to manually go and then format every single paragraph or heading. We just use styles to format everything that we want and it makes it so much easier, especially when you're doing uh, assessments or projects or essays for your classes. Okay, so that was making our own style. Well, that was sorry, that was modifying styles. Okay, that was modifying styles. So let's have a look at what we want to do if we wanted to create our own style. All right, so like this heading two, for example, I don't like heading two, and I want to make my own one. So let's do that. Where do we begin? Well, start over here. All right, you see this little more button here. Now remember, in most office applications, there's like 10 different ways to do the same thing. All right, so this is just one of the ways. There are many other ways. Okay, so have a look. I'm going to click over there. Okay, and I'm going to say create a style. Create a style. So let's do that. Create a style. Great. First things first, I need to give it a name. I need to give it a name. And uh, let's call that um, main point. <laughs> main point. Yeah, yeah, you wish. Main point. And uh, I'm going to click on modify modify main point the style type don't worry about any of those things just go here this is where we can change everything that we need so i'm going to change the font i'm going to change it to arial bold i'm going to make it 14 points okay give it a bit of spacing there and you can also do a couple other things as well if you go down here to format you can actually choose you can format the font the paragraph tabs border language frame numbering i mean you can format anything okay so i'm not going to go all out here i'm just going to change a few things so you can see what it does there it is there click okay that is pretty cool i like that so there it is there it's now in my style style sheet styles group session section uh, there it is cool so now what i can do is i can go ahead and i can click in there and apply that to every one of these okay now if you wanted to change something for example now we know that we've got a couple of other headings that are still um, h2 heading 2 and we want to change those watch this okay so instead of going through the whole document here's heading 2 I'm gonna right click on heading 2 I'm going to say select all select all and what that does let's just scroll down you can see that it is selected all the headings that I formatted as heading two. And all I do now is I just click on my main point and it then updates them to that heading, to the main, the one that I made, the main point. Look at that. By a moy. That means very nice, very good, super cool. There you go. And in a nutshell, guys, that is how we modify styles and how we edit styles. And so I'm gonna give you guys an activity to do and a couple of activities. And you can go through them and just practice working with styles. Enjoy.